Hey guys, how's it going? I actually got dressed this morning, so I figured might as well use it as a reason to film a video. Today's video is going to be the stay at home book tag. I was tagged by Sasha over at The Wild Sasha, and this tag was originally created by Princess of Paperbacks. I'm going to leave both of them linked down below as well as all of the questions in case anyone else wants to do this tag. But this tag is basically just about staying home, <laughs> which is always my expertise, but especially right now, it was very fitting and let's just get right into it. Question number one is Laying in Bed, a book you could or have read all in one day. This won't be a surprise to anybody, but I am going with any book by Roald Dahl. This is my box set. It's actually empty right now because I didn't want to take all the books that they are off the shelf. I absolutely love Roald Dahl. He is just magical. Just the way that he just puts magic and imagination into so many things and I just really love him so much and all of his books, I mean they're children's books, but they're just so short and fast and whimsical and they're just a great time. So yeah, I can definitely read all of these in one sitting. Question number two is Snacking, a guilty pleasure book. This one I had a really hard time with because I don't feel like any of my books are guilty pleasures. Like I just like them. So I ended up going with The Holograms Handbook by Robert Picardo just because objectively if you're not already a Star Trek fan, this book is kind of weird and not all that great. Like it doesn't do anything new or insightful, but if you're a Star Trek Voyager fan, especially if you're the fan of the Doctor, which I am, then it's a super fun book because it's full of all these little references and little inside things and it's just very much the Doctor's sense of humor infused into a book. So I guess this is the closest thing I would have to a guilty pleasure, but honestly if you are a fan of The Doctor or Star Trek Voyager, read this because it is awesome. <laughs> Question number three is Netflix, a series you want to start. This one was a little bit tough because I've apparently recently started most of the series that I own, <laughs> but I'm gonna go with Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This is about like superheroes and super villains and people that were best friends but are now like arch enemies and that just sounds really fun. <laughs> I really like superheroes and supervillains and all that stuff though and reading Renegades really reminded me of that but I don't own the sequel to this. I actually don't know is it just two books or are there more? I don't know but either way I only own the first book and if you watched last month's wrap up I kept reading the first book in a series that ended on such a great cliffhanger and not owning the next book. So I am going to be responsible and either wait until the second book is available at my library or something. But right now I don't really have a reliable way to buy books, so I'm going to hold off on this one, but I really want to start it. Question number four is Deep Clean, a book that's been on your TBR for ages. I really wanted to pick a different book for this, but I would be inauthentic if I didn't go with Eyes of Horse by Joan Grant. This book has been on my TBR I think forever. Like I literally don't remember ever not owning this book. I've had it since I was young but it's I don't know there's just something about it that's intimidating and now because it's been so long that I haven't read it I'm just really intimidated by it and I just keep not picking it up and this book is the bane of my existence but I do think that I'm gonna like it so I don't want to get rid of it and it's a struggle, okay? I don't even really know what this is about. I think it's about Egyptian gods and reincarnation or something and that does sound really interesting and I'm going to read this someday. Someday. Question number five is Animal Crossing, a book you bought recently because of hype. This one was super easy but that is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I obviously heard so much about this book because everyone was talking about it, everyone was saying they loved it, but I didn't really think that it would be for me because it's very centered on the romance I thought and it's more contemporary, well, it's a historical fiction but it's set in the real world with real people, there's no magic, and it just really didn't seem like something that I would like. But my friend Haley over at Leading Lady, she read this and she just would not stop gushing about it and gushing about Evelyn Hugo specifically. So I placed a hold for it at my local library and then it eventually became available like eight weeks later. And I listened to the audiobook 
And I loved it so freaking much. I wasn't even finished it and I had already ordered this copy on Amazon because I knew that I needed to own this. This is just so great and it definitely lived up to the hype for me. Evelyn Hugo is just the perfect badass and I just, I love it. I love it so much. I can't wait to reread it even though I've only just finished reading it like two months ago. And I don't usually do rereads very often because, I don't know, there's just so many physical books that I have that I haven't read. It takes me a while to get around to rereads, but I will read this book eventually and I am so excited. Question number six is productivity, a book that you learned from or had an impact on you. For this one, the most recent book that I can think of that really had an impact on me was The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I listened to this on audiobook from my library and I do intend to buy a copy eventually once the world settles down and I have income again. But this book was just so powerful and there was just so many things that were really eye-opening to me. And even though obviously I know that racism exists, I understand that police brutality is a real thing, but just the perspective and the way that it was written, it just gave a whole new meaning to everything and I just really felt like, I don't know, it was just very impactful. And I highly recommend this book if you haven't read it, it was very very good. But yeah, I would definitely say that that one had a big impact on me. Question number seven is FaceTime, a book you were gifted. For this one, actually, I have the perfect book, and that is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmermer. I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I don't know how else that would be pronounced. Kemmerer. Kemmerer. Kemmerer? Kem. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but this was actually gifted to me by my friend Audrey over at Choose Yourself 101. I'm gonna link her down below. She is so great. She is so fun to talk to. She is just a really great friend and I highly recommend checking out her channel. But she ended up actually surprising me with this book and I am so excited to get to it. We decided that we're going to buddy read it once it becomes available at her library. So I'm not going to read it yet. I'm going to wait. But I am really excited to get to this. I've had my eye on it for a while now. I think pretty much ever since it was released I've been really intrigued and really wanting to read it. So I'm so excited that I got it and it just really made my day of just, you know, a surprise present and especially that present being a book? What could be better? <laughs> Question number eight is self-care. What is one thing you've done recently to take care of yourself? <sighs> I would say my main thing is just being forgiving with myself and if I decide that I want to play Animal Crossing for six hours straight because that would make me happy and there's nothing else that I need to do, I'm gonna do that and I'm not gonna feel bad about it. If I end up getting really tired and worn out then I am going to take a nap if I feel like I need to. Just overall being patient and kind with myself and just really focusing on keeping my mindset very forgiving with myself has been probably the biggest self-care thing that I've done. Because sometimes self-care isn't an action, it can be a state of mind and whatever takes care of you, that's self-care. And the bonus question is to name a book that is coming out soon. And for that one, I am going to go with my dear friend Savvy's book, One Final Vinyl. I have pre-ordered this. It actually might be out by the time this video is posted. I don't know when I'm putting this video up. Either way, I'm going to put the date that it comes out right here because I'm a bad friend and I forgot off the top of my head. But I am so excited for this book. It's basically about this girl who's graduating and doesn't really have any friends and then this woman with Alzheimer's who ends up at her house and they take a road trip together. <laughs> I'm explaining it really really badly. I'm going to link Savvy down below in the Goodreads page so you can definitely actually check it out for yourself. But I am just so excited about this. I love Savvy. I really like her writing style. I was a beta reader for one of her books. I own Sculpt Yourself up there. And I'm just really excited for this book. It sounds like such a fun time. And I mean, a road trip with an old lady? That is perfect. And that was the last question. I found this take was really fun. So again, if you guys want to do it, all the questions are down below. Please do it. And if you do, definitely let me know because I would love, love to check it out. I guess that is all for today. I'm going to get back to staying inside and probably playing Animal Crossing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please click the like button to let me know and subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, usually reading or writing related. So I hope to see you guys next time and until then, have a great day. Bye!